And earlier on in our news, our correspondent Marianne Ocon took a look at the participation of women during the Anambra election. Take a look. Now, something that is very important is that, of note, or worthy of note, is that we have seen more women turn out for this election. And uh, one of the first sets of people that came into this venue were women. And I'm being joined by a female voter. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. What's your name? My name is Chinaya Muche. Chinaya, it's very surprising. You have your baby behind you, and then you came out. Either way, you could have had an excuse of saying, I have a baby, I don't have to come out and vote, but you did. Yeah, because I have to come out because I think the the vote we they need our vote. So sometimes this is say women are scared of coming out. They, so I think this I'm very very happy to see women more than the men. They are they are more bolder than the men this time. So I just had to come out to vote. I'm impressed. Were you one of those people that were worried also about the insecurity? I was at the time I was worried, but at the time I said I'm not going to come out. But I have no option that because I saw everywhere was I think security was all oh, everywhere was secured. So I said let me come out and vote because I had, I had there's no use of keeping my vote. At least one of my votes will lead to somewhere. So I just had to come out and vote. Well, I love that and I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. We're still going around the uh, election venue to bring you updates as to what's happening here. We have seen a couple of people who are physically impaired also t turning up to cast their votes. This seems to be a plus for the people of Anambra. Can you tell us uh, when you got here and... About 30 minutes ago. About 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, and you still haven't got it? Yes, but I've seen my number. Mm. So you ha have you registered? No, I haven't now. I haven't. It's not moving at all. It's not moving. I don't know what is wrong with them. Some were complaining that uh, it's not capturing well. No. Mm. Mm. So this. So, uh, but I, what I want to say is that I've seen a lot of women, you know, come out in this ward to vote. Yes. Um, many have complained that women in previous elections don't show up for for for. They turned up a mass. Uh, they turned up a mass. Because the uh, the environment is calm and cool. Uh, because people we are we are afraid. They we are afraid of the situation. Yeah? Uh -huh. they, they, but as they looked and saw that every everywhere is calm. They, they started coming, yes. I came to this place at exactly five minutes after 8 a.m. And you still haven't voted? I have not voted. What exactly is the problem? Uh, the machine they are using, the machine is frustrating. Yes. Uh, most people, they have been testing the machine on most people since morning, and the machine is not even working fine. Mm, that's it. Uh, is there hope, because these elections I hear are supposed to end at 2.30, is there hope that you might be able to cast your vote? They are still giving us hope. And I told them that there's nothing that will make me not to cast my vote. Uh, is, there a, is there an option of manually casting your vote? Have you asked them? I asked them. Is there a hope? Is there, can you manually yeah. cast your vote? I asked them if we can cast our vote manually. They said yes, but they are waiting for an order. That's what they told us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.